talk is all about high performance. That's right. No low performance, no middle ground performance. We're talking about high performance applications like factory automation, healthcare designs, smart appliances, motor control, HVAC systems, fingerprint scanners, robots. Phew. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. That is quite a diverse set of applications. Yes, you're right. And in order to fulfill the design needs of all of those different applications, we need an MCU with a large memory size, advanced security, several connectivity options, and support for high temperatures. But where would we find such an MCU? With the latest and greatest ARM core. Right here, my friends, with the Renaissance RA8 series of MCUs. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Kavita Char from Renaissance and I explore the first 32-bit MCUs based on the new ARM Cortex-M85 core. We investigate how these new MCUs bridge the gap between MCUs and MPUs. The advanced security features included in this new MCU portfolio and how you can get started using the Renaissance High Performance RA8 series in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Renaissance. Hi, Kavita. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Amelia. It's great to be here. Excellent. Okay, so we're talking about a new MCU series in the Renaissance RA family, the RA8 series and the RA8M1 group. Now, this is the first group of MCUs to be released within the RA8 series, right? So before we get started, can you give us an overview of the RA MCU, RA8 MCU, and RZ MPU families? Yes, absolutely, Amelia. Renesis has uh, extensive lines of both MPU and MCU products. The MCUs are based on the Cortex-M cores, the M4, the M23, M33, and with the latest RA8 devices, the M85 core. And we have MPUs as well. These are our application processors, which are based on the A and R cores. All devices are fully integrated with advanced security and trust zone where the core offers it. We also integrate best-in-class peripherals such as Ethernet with TSN, Octal Spy, multiple serial interfaces, and a very robust capacitive touch solution. All the devices are supported by our flexible software package that provides all of the infrastructure pieces required to ease our customers' development. Just drawing your attention to the graphic here, at the lower end of the performance spectrum, of course, we have the M-Core-based RA MCU family. These are general purpose devices and they find application in motor control, it sensors, wireless connectivity, and so on. These are all based on the M4, M23, and the M33 cores and take the performance up to about 240 megahertz. On the other side of the performance spectrum, you have the RZ MPU family. These are our high performance application processors. They find application in high performance devices such as voice and audio, in graphics applications, video processing, networking, and so on. And in most recent devices, AI and ML as well. Straddling these two ends of the performance spectrum are the R8 MCU series which is based on the ARM Cortex-M85 core that brings Helium to this high-performance category of M cores. These devices are integrated with on-chip flash and SRAM, as well as advanced security. These are general-purpose devices again, and they will find application in many different broad markets, such as HMI graphics, motor control, building automation, and industrial automation. So, Kavita, within the MCU families, we're looking at a variety of different cores, right? That's correct, Amelia. So, we have a very rich set of MCU product offerings. These have been designed and built to support diverse needs of our customers. We have our 8- and 16-bit MCUs, as well as the 32-bit MCUs. 
On the lower end of the performing spectrum, we have our 16-bit MCUs, the RL78 family, very well known in the industry. These are the ultra low power, low pin count devices. The max operating frequency goes up to about 32 megahertz and general purpose devices and find application across several different markets, sensors, motor control, display, and also as a host processor for wireless connectivity, Bluetooth, LE, as well as sub gigahertz applications. On the 32-bit MCU side, we have the RX family. This is a family of 32-bit MCUs built on our own RX core. It's our proprietary core. Very high performance, best in class in terms of the core marks per megahertz in its class. Takes the operating frequency up to about 240 megahertz. Again, these are general purpose devices designed with the memory sizes and peripherals that enable applications such as uh, motor control, display, HMI graphics, cloud connectivity, as well as industrial networks. And then we have, of course, the RA family, which is our family of devices based on the ARM cores, the ARM M cores. These are high performance, highly efficient devices, highly integrated with a rich set of peripherals and the flexible software package that provides the basic software required for our customers to build their application. These, again, are general purpose devices with operating frequency that goes up to 240 megahertz and finds application in broad markets, LCD, HMI graphics, networking, wireless applications, as well as motor control, building automation, and so on. Last but not the least, we have our RISC-V based devices. We have taken an ASSP approach with these devices. We have a couple of different versions of MCUs based on the RISC-V core. One is a motor control device and another one that has been built for voice recognition applications. So tell me more about this new high-performance R8 series of MCUs. Yes. So we are very happy to introduce the R8 series, the industry's first MCUs based on the new ARM Cortex-M85 core. Renesis has established an industry leadership position with the R8 series featuring this new core from ARM that is based on the ARM V8.1M architecture. The R8 series brings unprecedented performance to the R8 family with 6.39 core marks per megahertz, providing over 3,000 core marks of raw performance and 4x the AI ML performance over a Cortex-M7 core using Helium, that is ARM's M-profile vector extension. Advanced security is one of the key values of the R8 series MCUs, and we support a hardware-based root of trust and a true secure boot. The MCUs also include the latest generation Renesis security IP for truly secure IoT applications. The Cortex-M85 brings trust zone to the RA devices, which allows for system partitioning uh, between secure and non-secure zones. We have built in several low power modes and features that are included to reduce the overall system power consumption. These are features such as DC-DC converters, retention of the state, as well as low power modes and sleep modes that allow our customers to reduce their system power consumption while providing the high level of performance. We are also helping our customers to lower their costs and simplify their design by integrating embedded flash that allows our customers to eliminate the need for an external flash. We also built in best-in-class peripherals that, again, reduces the overall bomb cost for our customers and simplifies their design. Last but not the least, we have the flexible software package with support for RTOS that allows our customers to use all of the infrastructure pieces that we provide and bring in their own legacy code and also allows them to use their RTOS of choice. We, of course, have a robust set of partners that provide tools with support for the new Cortex-M85 core as well as Helium. Okay, so this is the first MCU with the new ARM Cortex-M85 core, right? So tell me more about that aspect of this solution. The new R8 series MCUs are the industry's first MCUs based on the Cortex-M85 core. The new Cortex-M85 core based on the 8.1M architecture and a seven-stage uh, superscalar pipeline is the highest performance Cortex-M core in the industry and introduces Helium, the M-profile vector extension that significantly accelerates DSP tasks as well as AI ML applications, enabling a 4x acceleration in ML tasks and a 3x acceleration in DSP tasks. This is in comparison to the older Cortex-M7 core. 
Helium is basically a single instruction, multiple data, SIMD extension to the instruction set that can provide that sort of performance uplift by processing more data per instruction. So this is very similar to NEON on the ARM A-series processor cores, but is more optimized for the resource-constrained and lower-power microcontrollers. Helium adds up to 150 scalar and vector instructions and allows processing of wide 128-bit registers with a single instruction. When it's used optimally, this can eliminate the need for an additional DSP in the system. Helium brings intelligent uh, processing to the edge, enabling local processing and lower overall system power and allowing these small resource-constrained embedded systems to address the compute needs for high-performance applications. This could be things like audio processing, video processing, drone navigation, sensor hubs, etc. The 8.1M architecture also brings advanced security to this high-performance line of course with Trust Zone, used for efficient system partitioning into secure and non-secure zones, as well as a new feature, the pointer authentication and branch target identification, back BTI in short, for mitigation of return and jump-oriented programming attacks. It also has several instruction enhancements, uh, as you can see in the table here, the floating point support, the Cortex-M85 core introduces the half-precision floating point operations for both scalar and vector instructions, whereas the Cortex-M7 core did not support that. In terms of just the raw performance max per cycle, the Cortex-M85 doubles the performance of the Cortex-M7 core. And of course, I talked about the core marks per megahertz, a whopping 6.39. That is a good 20% uplift over the Cortex-M7 core. We had recently demonstrated this sort of performance uplift with Helium at Embedded World this year, where we showcased this 3.6x speed up in the inference for Vision AI application with Helium. Great. Now, where does this new RA8 MCU fit into the overall RA family portfolio? So the RA family has devices from the low end of the performing spectrum, from the RA2 devices to the midline RA4 and the higher performance RA6 devices. With the RA8 series, we now extend the RA family portfolio with a high performance 480 megahertz based device. We have devices that address general purpose market. We call this our mainstream line of RA MCUs. We also have entry line devices that are more cost optimized. We have devices that provide more rich analog features as well as wireless connectivity. And of course, our T line that is our motor control line. With the RA8 M1, we have basically added not just, of course, a, an additional series to the portfolio, but an additional mainstream 32-bit MCU line for high-performance applications. Okay, so let's talk specifically about the benefits of the RA8M1 family. Yes, so the R8 MCUs bring a lot of value to our customers. As I mentioned, we were lead partners with ARM on the development of this MCU, and we are first to the market with this device. We have talked about the high performance aspect. The RA8 series MCUs bring the highest performance with the powerful Cortex-M85 core with Helium, which is ARM's SIMD vector extension that I just talked about, and over 150 new scalar and vector instructions that allow applications such as sort of compute intensive applications such as audio video processing, AI, ML, and other DSP applications. While this is providing that high performance, ARM has also built in capability to reduce the power consumption while performing these high performance tasks. Advanced security is one of the key value propositions for the R8 series MCUs. And with every successive generation of R8 devices, we built in more to enable our customers most secure IoT applications. With the R8 series, we introduce immutable storage on chip for the hardware-based root of trust. This basically brings immutable storage for the first stage bootloader that allows that secure boot, which then becomes the basis for the chain of trust across the device's life cycle. In addition, we build in our latest generation security IP, the RCIP E51A, with industry-leading and NIST-compliant algorithms, both for symmetric and asymmetric cryptography. We have a very robust security solution, which includes secure firmware upgrades, authenticated secure debug, as well as secure factory programming, which allows our customers to be able to program their production devices without the need for a fully secure facility for this programming. 
Trust zone, I talked about that already, allows the system partitioning between secure and non-secure zones. We also build in secure interfaces to external flash. For our customers that need a larger size of memory, we build in these secure interfaces to external flash, which allows our customers to have an encrypted image in external flash and bring it in securely for execution on the core. Integration is one of our key values. We build an embedded flash for high performance as well as lower power and higher security. This also allows our customers to eliminate that additional external flash. For the customers that need that additional flash, we do have several memory configurations and options available that allow them to connect this device to external memory for their diverse use cases. We also build in best-in-class peripherals for connectivity, analog, and functional safety. Low power consumption, I talked a little bit about it earlier. Basically, the RA8 series devices have several low power modes and features. We also introduce VCC and VCC2 domains that allows connection to 1.8 volt external components. What this does is that it gives our customers the flexibility to be able to connect to these lower power 1.8 volt devices while running the rest of the MCU at 3.3 volts. So just a lot of flexibility for our customers. I talked about the wider voltage range that again allows that connection to the lower voltage components. And we have a 40 nanometer process that allows for low active and standby currents. We have a comprehensive set of software and tools. We have worked very closely with our partners to provide that support for the new Cortex-M85 core, as well as optimizations with Helium. This has a very open architecture, which supports all of the infrastructure pieces, but also allows our customers to bring in their own code and their own RTOS of choice. So this is a graphic that introduces the R8 M1 MCUs, which is the first group within the R8 series. The ARM Cortex M85 core runs at 480 megahertz, and we support options for two megabyte as well as one megabyte flash on chip, as well as one megabyte of SRAM. Portion of this one meg SRAM is ECC protected. So we have about half of this, half 512 kilobytes ECC protected and the rest of it parity protected. We have a very nice set of connectivity peripherals, including Ethernet as well as CAN-FT, USB, both full speed and high speed, SDHI as well as I2Cs. We introduced the I3C for higher performance serial interface. We have a couple of SPI interfaces. We also are introducing the Octal Spy interface that allows for a higher bandwidth interface to external memory. This Octal Spy interface is basically XPy compliant and supports execute in place as well as decryption on the fly. We also support a wide 32-bit external memory bus that allows our customers to connect either SDRAM or NOR flashes for their application needs. In addition, we have a nice set of analog and timing features, two 12-bit ADCs, a couple of 12-bit DACs, a couple of high-speed comparators, and a nice set of timers here for all their application needs with the support for PWM and motor control features. Uh, we also introduce the ultra-low power timer that can be operational in low power modes. In terms of the HMI, we introduce a 16-bit camera interface for applications such as surveillance cameras and barcode scanners and such. I talked about the security aspect. We have built in a lot of features to support that secure element-like functionality. AES up to 256, RSA 4K, support for ECC. We are introducing SHA-2 for authentication and immutable storage for that hardware-based root of trust. We are also including tamper protection, so tamper resistance, as well as DPA, SPA side channel protection. In terms of the package lineup, this graphic here shows the various options available to our customers. We have devices at two megabytes of flash as well as one megabyte flash. Both of those come with one megabyte of SRAM. We have packages all the way from 100 pin to 224 pins. LQFP packages in 100, 144, and 176 pins. And the BGA package with 0.8 mm pitch in the 224 pin. So what kind of applications would be a good fit for the RA8 M1 family? The R8 M1 group includes uh, general purpose MCUs and these find application across broad markets. We have seen interest from customers in industrial applications, consumer products, smart home, building automation, as well as office automation and healthcare. The industrial applications uh, such as PLCs, motor control, power inverters and robotics. We have customers that are designing these devices into appliances as well as security cameras, robotic vacuums. 
essentially all of the applications that require that higher level of performance that the R8 series with the Cortex M85 core brings and combines with the large memory, the higher temperature range, the wider voltage range, as well as all of the best in class peripherals that we build in to enable these kinds of applications. So all of our R8 series devices are designed keeping in mind the diverse needs of all of these applications. Great. So can you share any other examples of this new MCU in action? Yes, absolutely. The R8 M1 is used in a fingerprint scanner, which is a a particularly interesting application that makes optimal use of all of the resources on the R8 M1 devices. This includes the interfaces required for that image acquisition. This could be SPI interfaces or a camera interface that connects to a variety of different types of sensors. We also, of course, have the higher performance of the Cortex M85 core and the acceleration with helium for two reasons. One is for the processing of the fingerprint in order to extract the identifying information from the fingerprint, as well as helium for acceleration of the fingerprint, live fingerprint AI implementation. The data that is extracted from the fingerprint is, of course, biometric data and hence extremely sensitive. And this data needs to be encrypted before it can be sent over to a remote server for authentication. So we build in that high level of security with the RSIP cryptographic engine that has all of the leading edge cryptographic algorithms to allow that very secure protection of the data both on chip and while it's in motion to the server. So this application in particular is a very interesting use case for us. It uses the high performance and the floating point support for the fingerprint processing algorithms. It uses Helium for the AI implementation. It has the large memory size that is required for implementation of the software for this application and the advanced security that is needed for protection of this data. In addition, of course, we support all of the interfaces that are needed for connectivity as well as for sensing of the image acquisition. Okay, so what does the software support look like for this new RA8M1 family? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, we have all of our RA devices supported with the flexible software package that provides all of the infrastructure pieces. This includes all of the HAL APIs that allow access to all the MCU peripherals. These include also the middleware stacks and all of the device drivers. These are all fully tested and production ready. And all of the software components in our FSB stack are trust zone aware, which basically mean that these could be allocated either in the secure or the non-secure zones. We include both the Azure RTOS as well as the free RTOS, which is integrated with the flexible software package. We also allow our customers the flexibility to bring in their own RTOS of choice, and we build in all the hooks in software that allow for this integration. We, of course, also support bare metal implementations. We have all of the connectivity stacks, TCP IP stacks, secure sockets, cellular and wireless stacks, and so on, as well as all the crypto APIs required for those secure applications. All of the code is built towards allowing our customers to get that PSA level two certification, as well as all of the security certifications for their code. Okay, so can you walk me through what the development environment looks like? The RA family has a very rich development environment for our customers. These are all very easy to use and very flexible. We have a number of on-chip debuggers. We have our own Renesis E2 and E2 Lite debuggers, as well as support for the Segar J-Link. In terms of IDEs, we have our own Eclipse-based E2 Studio. We also support the Kyle MDK, as well as the IAR Embedded Workbench. In terms of compilers, we support all of our partner compilers. We have worked very closely with each of these partners to provide support for the Cortex M85 core since we are the first in the industry to bring this core to market. We have worked with them to implement support for the Cortex M85 as well as all of the performance aspects of Helium. So by the time of our launch, all of our partners are fully supported for the Cortex M85 core. In addition to this, we have several support tools to ease our customers' development. These include GUI tools that allow for driver selection and configuration, intelligent pin mapping, as well as flash programmers. Nice selection of those. Of course, we have our kits and boards. We have EKs, the evaluation kits for all of our RA family devices. So we have introduced the EKR8 M1, which is available now to order. We also, of course, have prototyping boards and solution kits for several of our devices. 
So if my audience is ready to get started using the R8 M1, do you guys have a development kit to help them on their way? Yes, absolutely. So as I'd mentioned, we have the evaluation kit for the R8 M1 MCU group, which is available at our distributors as well as on our website for order. These kits are very full featured. They allow access to all of the functionality on the R8 M1 devices. We use the largest package available, which is the 224 BGA package. And we have headers on the board that basically provide native access to all of the pins on the chip. This has the device running at 480 megahertz and also supports all of the interfaces, Ethernet, USB, as well as CAN-FT. We also include a 64 megabyte external octal spy for our customers to use with their application. Again, similar to all of our RA family evaluation kits, we provide access to several different debug options as well as support for the I2C and analog, SPI, UARTs, and so on. All right. Well, Kavita, I think that's almost all I have time for today. But first, can you recap your main points for me? Yes, Amelia. So we are very happy to have introduced the R8 series to the market and the first group within the R8 series, which is the R8 M1 MCUs, which basically extends our mainstream RA MCUs into the high performance space. These are the industry's first 32-bit MCUs based on the new ARM Cortex M85 core. And we successfully demonstrated this at the Embedded World, both in 2022 with a graphics application and in 2023 with an AI application to show that performance boost with Helium. The R8 M1 Group MCUs are highly integrated devices and bring high performance as well as all of the integration with memory and peripherals that helps to lower the costs and simplify our customers' designs. These devices bridge that gap between MCUs and MPUs and enable those compute-intensive applications with the low power consumption and ease of use of an MCU. What this does is allows our customers to be able to design those high-performance applications without having to switch to an MPU and allows them to extend their investment in MCU-based solutions. The performance aspects I talked about, over 6.3 core marks per megahertz, raw core performance, which allows 30% uplift in scalar performance, and the 4x AI ML performance compared to a Cortex-M7 core. This also introduces vector instructions to this high-performance line of M cores and enables different sorts of high-compute DSP and AI ML applications. This also brings trust zone to this highest performance M-class course. We have a fully rich feature comprehensive solution with flexible software package as well as development tools and evaluation kits. So please go ahead and order those kits and we look forward to working with you. Excellent. Well, Kavita, this was really cool. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Emilia, for having me on. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Renaissance. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or check out YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.